seeing Guardians of the Galaxy 3, they didn't play your regular trailers in front of it because it was a special event screening, but they did play the all the upcoming Disney films. They played trailers for those. And so, of course, they did Elemental, which looks quite good, by the way. Uh, they did a number of them, but the trailer that got the biggest reaction from the audience, as it has been every time I've seen it in theater, is the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny trailer. This movie's going to be pretty big. I don't know if it's going to join the Billion Dollar Club or not, but it's going to be big. And they showed us like a, how long was the sequence they showed us at CinemaCon? 20 minutes. 20 yeah, minutes? 20. Yeah. They showed us a 20 minute scene for at CinemaCon that was the most Indiana Jones feeling stuff you can possibly imagine. It completely felt like Indiana Jones. Um, I thought it looked great. Uh, excited about seeing it, all that kind of stuff. Well, we know that Harrison Ford has said that he is officially done playing Indiana Jones after this movie is done. However, now, in a report in Deadline, Harrison Ford is now also saying that he believes that this is going to be the last time we don't just see him as Indiana Jones, but it's going to be the last time we see Indiana Jones at all on the big screen. Uh, this comes to us from the folks at Deadline who write the following. Harrison Ford says that he believes the forthcoming Indiana Jones film, Dial of Destiny, will be the last ever time the celebrated archaeologist appears in a film. In an interview with Total Film, the 80-year-old star confirmed Disney's previous announcement that this will be Indy's last big screen outing. Ford said, This is the final film in the series, and this is the last time I'll play the character. I anticipate that it will be the last time he appears in a film. This will be the last time he appears in a film. All right. Let's talk about this for a second. Harrison Ford has gone above and beyond playing this character. He's made it one of the, I don't think it's an exaggeration or hyperbole to say maybe a top five most iconic characters in the history of Hollywood with Indiana Jones. Which means he probably has two of the top five in Indiana Jones and Han Solo. But he's played Indiana Jones for longer than a lot of people watching this show's been alive. Longer than maybe somebody in this room has been alive. I, I mean, he's been playing it that long. And the fact that it's time for him to hang up the whip, totally good. And I love that he's giving us one last swan song. But for Harrison Ford to come out and say, I anticipate this will be the last time you see him on film. Two things to point out. Number one, Harrison Ford doesn't get a say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not his decision about whether or not Her uh, Indiana Jones appears on the big screen again. So just there's that. I do not believe for one second that we will not see Indiana Jones, the character on the big screen again. Now, if Dial of Destiny comes out and makes Black Adam money, <laughs> then maybe, maybe it'll be a decade or two until we see them try to take a crack at Indiana Jones again. But we've known for some time in Hollywood the king high pinnacle of all things priorities is recognizable IP. IP, intellectual property, that's king. Franchise potential, that is king in Hollywood. The studios at CinemaCon this week talked about that, is that we need to cr keep creating original films because that's where franchises come from. <laughs> franchises come from original films. So we have to keep making our franchise movies, but we have to keep making originals to make franchise movies. But franchise is king. It's, it's just been proven over and over and over again. And I don't believe for one hot minute that if Dial of Destiny makes over $600 million, again, I'm not even saying a billion. This movie makes over $600 million. There is no chance, dare I say no chance in hell, <laughs> that, I knew you knew that was coming, Yeah. <laughs> that the next CEO of Disney and their board, and whoever, whether it's Alan Bergman still or another chair of Disney Pictures or whoever, isn't going to go, you know, the people seem to like Indiana Jones. We got them theme park rides at our parks. <laughs> the last one made X amount of money. It's the most recognizable character maybe in all of fiction. I won thousand percent guarantee you there will be more indiana jones on screen i i 
There, I don't know that there would be many other things in the world of movies other than maybe Jamie Foxx coming back to play Electro that could shock me more than if like 20 years from now, we, we do a big John Campion show reunion 20 years from now and we go, can you believe they still haven't made an Indiana Jones 6? I mean, I would be shocked. And it won't be Indiana Jones 6. It'll be a rebooted Indiana Jones, but I 100, 100, 100% guarantee you that while I completely believe that Harrison Ford believes there won't be another Indiana Jones on screen, on the big screen, I also 100% guarantee you he's incorrect. <laughs> there will be. You know why? Because in the words of Gordon Gecko, greed is good. <laughs> greed works. In the world of movies, it is a law. They will make that money, and they will want to go to that well again. Anyway, Chris... You hear Harrison Ford. Uh, number one, where's your anticipation level like right now for, for Dial of Destiny? How well do you see it doing? But most importantly, what do you think about Harrison Ford's prediction here that we're never going to see Indiana Jones on screen again? I want that confidence. I want to think that when I'm dead, so are all my characters. None of you will take them ever. That's an amazing way to go through life. Good for you, Harrison. And honestly, <laughs> deserved. I love that. Uh, it's absolutely not going to happen, though. I mean, absolutely, they're going to bring her, uh, Indy back to the screen. They're absolutely going to do this. This is a huge, iconic character. He changed the way we view whips. He, he normalized did, yes. them. <laughs> they're going to have this character appear again. <laughs> We've already had so many people talk about how they've been, you know, talking about this role or courting wanting to do this. And while Harrison Ford keeps insisting nobody can be Indiana Jones other than him, there will be another Indiana Jones at some point. Maybe not soon after this installment, but there will be some version of him, right? I'm really excited about this film. I love James Mangold. I really, really adore him. I think that he is such a great director. That's a top tier, you know, comic book director that we've talked about. Top tier Western director. Come on, three yeah. Yuma. that's such a good film. And that footage we saw at CinemaCon was really, really fun. It was classic indie being indie, right? An epic car chase of sorts. You know, Phoebe Waller-Bridge seamlessly fitting into this kind of tapestry they've woven. I really enjoyed what we saw, and I've got pretty high hopes for it. Where? How do you think this movie's going to do? Because, I mean, it's, it's only, like, anecdotal at best. But, like, every time I've been in a theater... Other than when the Mario trailer is played, because when the Mario trailer played, that always got the biggest pop. But yeah. in the absence of that, the, the audiences I've seen movies with, when an Indiana Jones trailer comes up and you hear those first music notes, bum, 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 like that seems to be getting the best response. I don't know. What's your experience been and how well do you think this movie's going to do? I feel like when I've seen people react to the trailer, they get pretty excited about it as well. Um, I know <laughs> we had an issue when we were watching it here in the studio when it was just modern day music, quote unquote, right. as opposed to the uh, the actual score. But that's such a little note. I think it's going to do well. I think people want another good indie film. You know, the last one didn't really fire on all, all cylinders for most people. And I think people love this character. So I feel like it's going to get a lot of people that initial weekend. I really do think it's going to do well, but we'll see. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Harrison Ford is saying that he thinks this is going to be the last time you don't just not see him anymore, but the last time we're going to see the character of Indiana Jones on a movie screen. I don't think he's correct in that. Maybe you do. Are you excited for the new movie? Maybe not. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's show, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. When the spring sunshine is calling your name, don't call for takeout. Get HelloFresh instead. Their quick and easy meals make feeding the family and yourself a cinch and without the high price tag. Their new fast and fresh options are ready in just 15 minutes or less. And guys, don't worry about it if you're not exactly a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. You guys know Ann and I have been using HelloFresh for a long time now, and we absolutely love it. Both of us being working professionals, it's often difficult for us to find time to make dinner together. But with HelloFresh, it's easy, it's fun, and it's absolutely delicious. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia16 and use the code Campia16. Campia 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia 16 using the promo code for 16 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.